2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com. Today we're reviewing the Rep Fitness HR5000. Come inside, I'll show you. This is it, the Rep Fitness HR5000, the best rack that Rep Fitness has come out with to date. This is comparable on most levels to the Monster Collegiate Rack from Rogue Fitness, to the Sornex XL Racks. Without a doubt, this is the best thing that Rep has come out with. It's a foretaste of things to come in my opinion, and it's a beast. Let's talk about it. So Rep Fitness came up around the time that CrossFit became popular. They were designing racks and equipment for the CrossFit community. They recognized that you know, the home gym community was growing as it has and decided to start making equipment specifically for them. Now, Rep Fitness, although based in Denver, Colorado, imports a majority of their equipment. So up to this point, most of their equipment has been budget priced, imported equipment. That's not bad, but it's certainly not at the level of say Rogue Fitness or Sornex, Prime Fitness, or some of these other companies that are making their equipment here in the US. So since then, Rep Fitness has decided that they wanna start competing on a little bit higher scale level, but still offer their budget price you know, equipment, and that's where the HR5000 comes in. This rack is very similar in specs, in design, in feel, in welds, all those sorts of things as some of the top racks that are out there, like the Rogue Fitness Monster Rack, like the Sornex XL Rack, and the Sornex Base Camp Racks. However, the difference is it's a little bit cheaper when you compare the upgrades that come with it. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But first I wanna talk about just the overall design. The HR5000 half rack is a half rack. So what that means is it has an open design. If you're lifting, you're not lifting inside the rack. If you drop the bar, you're basically hoping that the spotter arms are gonna catch the bar. Some people really like lifting outside the rack. I prefer being inside of a power rack just because I've used a Rogue R3 for close to a decade probably now. Um, so I like being inside a power rack. I think it's a little bit safer, but for majority of people, a half rack is gonna provide what you need. Typically they're a bit cheaper than a power rack and they also often take up less space. So you basically lift on the outside. There's two posts on the back that are able to hold weight. And then you've got a pull-up bar, band pegs, and all sorts of features that you would find on a power rack, now on a half rack. What Rep Fitness has done is taken a three by three post that you see on like the top racks, and they basically mimicked it, but instead of it being made in the USA, they made it in, I don't know, it may be in China or maybe imported somehow. But this, although it's imported, is at the level or quality level from my standpoint as a Rogue Fitness Monster Rack. The uprights themselves, I'm not talking about the whole rack. I'm just talking about the steel, the upright that's used. It's not USA made steel, it's, you know, it's not USA source steel, but that doesn't mean it's bad quality. So they use a three by three post with 11 gauge steel. It then has one inch holes and they're using one inch bolts which is the same thing you find with some of the upper end racks. It's more expensive. It really doesn't add a lot of functionality, but it just looks mean. If you're gonna spend this much money on a rack and get a beefy rack and you want something high end, I think those one inch bolts look good. So they have the one inch bolts throughout the rack. The other feature that's unique to this half rack is it's flat footed. So you don't have to bolt it down. You don't have to screw it into the foundation or put it on a platform like you do with a lot of other half racks for it to be stable. Because it's nice thick steel with lots of posts and it's heavy, it stays where it is. And because there's weight racks on the back, if you really want extra stability, if you're gonna do, do kipping pull-ups, or you, know, you just don't want it to move a lot, you can put weight on the back via the weight pegs and it's gonna be secure. I really like this feature and I think this is really a rack that's designed for the home gym community because you don't have to bolt it down. So in addition to the overall build, Rep Fitness has looked at some of the upper end racks and tried to mimic that on this one. 
For instance, the powder coat, they're offering it in different colors. I think they have a silver, a red, a blue, this matte black, and maybe even a textured black. But this black is like a glossy black. It's similar to what you'd find on some of the higher end racks. Again, it's like a hammer tone black. Looks really good, has nice depth, and it's just a solid powder coat. All the holes are laser cut, and there's actually laser cut numbers. And this is one of the things that Rep has done that I really like, is they've taken away some of the, like, I don't know, extra features that you'd find with the really expensive racks. They've added them, but they've taken away parts of them. So what I mean by that is, rather than having hole numbers on both sides of the posts and at every hole, they just put them at every couple of holes, every five holes, don't put them all the way to the top, and don't put them on the back of the posts. What this means is, it's still gonna allow you to find your like hole really quickly to put in your J-cup, or your safety arms, but it's not gonna be so like overdone where you're not really gonna use it, and it's just gonna be an extra cost that's not gonna be beneficial to the end user. Again, it's a great idea because what it ends up being is makes it cheaper for you guys, makes it cheaper for rep, and then makes it cheaper for us. Win-win. So in addition to that, other features they've included are safety bars standard. If you're gonna have a hat frack, you have to have safety bars. No doubt about it, you need safety bars. Anybody that's benching without a spotter or safety bars is an idiot. I know people that have died doing that. Literally, I've had friends who have like, you know, nephews or things that have died. So it's something that is kind of serious, but these come standard. You don't have to pay any extra for them. They're nice, they work really well. They have UHMW plastic on the top. Same thing for the J cups. It's not just a standard J cup, it's a sandwich J cup which, with nice UHMW plastic on the front and then UHMW plastic on the back to protect the rack. It's got double latches. The pull-up bar that comes with it is a multi-grip pull-up bar that comes standard. It's got a fat grip on the front, a thin grip on the back, and then multi-grip in between. It comes with band pegs. It comes with weight pegs on the back that are chromed and then have these plastic grommets on the end that are rounded. I mean, Rep pretty much thought of everything, including the Archway logo, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of this Archway logo simply because it looks like there's an imperfection in the middle. They've welded it and then they put their logo on the front. It's just not what I'd really like to see. I think it could be improved. Um, but, you know, overall, you can't really tell unless you get really close and you're OCD like me. But what I'm trying to say is they've taken a lot of the popular features, thing that if you're gonna buy a high-end rack, you're gonna want, and they've included those standards. So what happens is, is if you look at this rack compared to say the Rogue Monster Collegiate rack, which I really think is the comparable rack, this one looks to be a little bit more expensive actually, because what Rogue is doing is they're giving their standard base rack with no safety bars, with no um, UHMW plastic, sandwich J cups, and they're saying this is the price for it, where Rep Fitness is includes those things, and which is most likely for the user to end up buying. So if you were to add these features to the Rogue Rack, the Rogue Rack would be more expensive. Granted, Rogue has cheaper shipping, so they're comparable. So the Rogue Monster Collegiate Rack, which I think is the best half rack that's out there, you know, you could argue the Sorenex one is, um, but if you were to compare all of the features on each one, on the Sornex rack, on the Monster Collegiate rack, and this Rep Fitness rack, if they all had the same features, this one would be the cheapest. You know, the Sornex looks a little bit cheaper on paper, but you know, they actually, sh their cost of shipping is pretty high. So the net price that you'd pay, this is one of the cheapest ones out there. And it's very comparable, okay? It's not, you know, it doesn't have the exact fit and finish of the Rogue Monster Collegiate Series, but it's gonna be very similar. I like the different colors they offer. I like the multi-grip pull-up bar. I like everything the rep is doing with this. It's awesome. I think it's a great idea. I'm a big fan. Now, as with any review, I don't wanna just be a shill and tell you that you should buy it without saying anything that's wrong with it. As with anything, there's a couple things that I think could be improved. One is the safety bars. The safety bars have these double latching. So basically, you just flip it up and pull it out. Rather than having a hitch pin like Sornex does, like Rogue does, that makes sure the safety bars are in there and not gonna move. The problem with those, I think, is if you're like doing some sort of lift, you knock it out. It's possible, unlikely, but possible that could get knocked out. If you had a hitch pin, it'd stay in there, it'd be easy to add, wouldn't add a lot of cost something I think they should add. 
The J cups use a similar feature. They have these two latches and they, basically to turn it in, you, you put it in the upright, turn it, and then it's locked in or take it out. You unturn it and then pull it out. The issue I see is the pin is in the middle, so it's balanced. What that means is it's very easy to knock these out. So you can hit this very easily, and because of the weight distribution, it could end up getting turned and pulled out. Well, if you're lifting, say you're squatting, and somehow you knock that thing out, unlikely, I know, but it's possible, and that thing comes out, what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to drop the weight. So, not ideal. Other than that, that's about it. And those are basic things that one, you know, rep doesn't have to fix because uh, they're not, I don't think they're, you know, necessary, but they are things that I see. So this rack is ideal for the person that wants a high-end rack, but doesn't want to pay as much as what you'd find with a Sorenex rack or a Rogue rack. It's that good. Great job, Rep Fitness. I'm excited to see some of the power racks are coming with the same features. I think it's awesome. This has been Coop from GarageGymReviews.com. What do you think about the rack? I'll put a link in the bio where you can check out the review that we did, the written review. It'll be more in depth, more pictures and everything like that. Also, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't done so, you're missing out. Thanks for watching. Peace.